Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the all new 2022 Acura MDX Type S. First off, we're going to get into the specifications for the MDX Type S and then we're going to get into why this vehicle matters and if it's worth it as usual. That all being said, let's just get straight into the video. Now let's get into the specs for the new 2022 MDX Type S. So first off, they are replacing the naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 that you normally get in the MDX with a turbocharged 3 liter V6. Now this new engine still goes through the same 10 speed automatic transmission but the power outputs are quite impressive. So we now have 355 horsepower and then 354 pound-feet of torque, which is quite a bit over the Nashi Aspirated V6 because the base engine only has 295 horsepower and then 267 pound-feet of torque. And so with the extra horsepower and then that massive torque gain, it's almost 100 pound-feet of torque more, it's just gonna feel substantially quicker compared to the Nashi Aspirated engine. And especially in a place like Utah here where we're at elevation, right? We're at 4,500 feet for most of the state. And so having a turbocharged engine up here is just gonna perform so much better. So I'm really excited about it from that perspective. On top of that, the tow rating, it looks like is gonna be about the same. So about 5,000 pounds if you get the tow package with it. And then on top of that, they are upgrading the brakes just like on the TLX Type S. So you do get front Brembo brakes. And then it will also have all of the sporty driving modes, including the Sport Plus mode, which will make it a little bit more aggressive with the driving and all that. And then in terms of pricing, it sounds like it's going to be mid 60s for the starting price which if you guys think about the current MDX with the uh, lineup, it's about $60,000 roughly for like a fully loaded MDX. So for this being the performance variant, it makes sense that it's a little bit more than the fully loaded variant. And then on top of that, right, Acura pretty much has everything in standard equipment. There's a few options you can add, but not a lot. And so typically the starting price is a little bit higher because it pretty much comes uh, fully loaded. But those are the specs. Oh, and also you guys already see the picture. It comes in the most beautiful gold color. Like I haven't seen it in person, obviously. I really wanna see this color in person because it, it looks beautiful. But I think it's one of the coolest colors I've ever seen on a car. Like I need to wrap a vehicle in that color. But now let's get into whether or not you should get the MDX Type S and why this matters. Now let's get into why this matters. And the reason that this matters is Acura is finally living up to their performance ethos. So for the longest time, Acura has kind of been advertising that they are the performance version of Honda, right? They're kind of like the luxury performance version, if that makes sense. And they've been releasing cars that look really cool. They've got good handling characteristics. They have good transmissions, nice interiors, but then they lack real acceleration. And I feel like the current MDX and then the current TLX were a great example of that, right? They both had, again, really nice interiors, really nice exteriors, and like the handling, the steering, everything felt really good. But then the second that you put your foot down, it's like, oh, that's it, right? And so with this new three liter V6, we get a real performance engine in the brand. And it's really exciting because now again, Acura is actually living up to the ethos. And the other thing I'm excited about is I think this engine is gonna make its way to a bunch of other vehicles. And that's why I think this is very important. So first off, Acura is now showing, hey, we're a real performance brand. We're gonna put some time and effort into making real performance cars. And then on top of that, now that they are developing that stuff, right, it's gonna trickle down. So I imagine we might see an ILX Type S, maybe, maybe not, RDX Type S, that would be cool. I mean, think about an RDX with that engine, because the MDX, it's gonna be really solid from an acceleration standpoint, but the RDX, right, it's small, and so it could be like a really solid competitor to, well, I guess not exactly, because the Alfa Romeo, um, Stelvio Quadrifoglio has like 500 horsepower, but it could kind of be a competitor because it's like a smaller size SUV with quite a bit of power. Uh, but regardless of that, I think this engine is going to trickle down to other cars. So I think that it's going to trickle to other cars in Acura's lineup. And I think that Acura might end up releasing more SUVs now in the future. And then obviously kind of making performance variants on that because that's where the market's going is SUVs. But on top, the thing I'm most excited for is I think this could potentially end up in some of Honda's vehicles and that would be really cool. Think of an Accord or a Civic with this engine in it or think maybe they could develop like a special, I mean, uh, this would be kind of weird, but I, I think it would be cool. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Think if they developed like a special edition Civic Type R with this three liter turbocharged V6 in it. Just think about that manual transmission, tons of downforce, 
and a three liter V6, I think that would be just so cool. And I mean, mid 300 horsepower, that would be uh, that would be one of the coolest cars ever. But yeah, I think that this is again really important because Acura is going back to the performance ethos. And then on top of that, I think that a lot of this performance technology is going to trickle down, and we're going to see more performance variants in Acura, but then also potentially in Honda as well. Now, should you get this new MDX Type S? And it really depends. So obviously at the price point that it's at, there are other vehicles that you can get that have better performance than what the MDX is going to have. Uh, I think a really good example is like the Dodge Durango Durango SRT, right? That has a big Nashi aspirated V8 and that one starts, I think in the low 60s. I might be wrong, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that one starts in like the low to mid 60s. And that's again, a third row SUV and it's got a big Nashi aspirated V8 and has well over 100 horsepower more than this MDX Type S. So yes, you can get other SUVs that are of similar size that have more performance for about the same amount of money. But if you really like the Acura brand, if you like the styling, you like the interior, and then obviously everything else that goes with Acura, right, the reliability and all that, then yeah, it's actually going to be worth it because this is going to be the new top of the line MDX. It's really capable from a towing standpoint, and it's actually going to be exciting to drive, right? I'm not saying the current MDX is not exciting, but again, it just, it leaves a little bit to be desired from an acceleration standpoint. And so with this horsepower and torque gain that you get, and the fact that it's turbocharged, it's it's going to give it an exciting driving experience that the MDX should have had from day one. And so yeah, I think it's worth it if you want a performance variant on the end on the MDX. But again, I understand there are some vehicles that are similar price that have a little bit better performance, but I'm sure that Acura is going to continue to step things up because it seems like they're really doubling down on the performance side of things. Now that is going to sum things up for our video on the new 2022 Acura MDX Type S and again I'm actually excited for it. I haven't driven the TLX yet so I can't really talk too much about the engine from a driving perspective. I will be able to tell you guys that once I drive the TLX and then obviously when the MDX comes out I'll drive that. But something that I was talking about with one of my friends that has an NSX is he was saying that Acura should make an NSX Type S. So they should just make like a crazier high performance version on the NSX. And I mean, who knows, right? The NSX has been out for quite some time and they really haven't changed all that much since it was released. And so maybe they could do like a last hurrah where they do like a crazy performance track variant on the NSX. I want you guys to let me know if you'd want to see that. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe I need to make a video about it, but yeah. Anyways, again, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. And then as always, if you feel like my videos are of value to you, I'm going to include a link to my Patreon in the description down below. I'd really appreciate your support over there. I'll see you guys.